Hi, boys and girls. Welcome back to Grandpa Story Hour. I am Jason and Wyatt's grandpa. How you doing, Jason? Hey, Wyatt. Love you guys. I am so happy that you're here with me again. We're excited because we're going to read The Little Red Caboose. So before we start reading, I got to thank Mommy, Daddy, Grandma, Grandpa, Auntie, Uncle, whomever is allowing you boys and girls to watch Grandpa Story Hour. God bless you and thank you very much. Hey, you want to keep Grandpa Story Hour going? Check out the Venmo account that is on the description. We would appreciate any gift you're willing to give. With that being said, commercial's done. It's time, Grandpa Story Hour. The Little Red Caboose. Oh my gosh, gotta get my grandpa glasses on. Okay, I'm ready to go. Whew, so excited. Here we go. The Little Red Caboose always came last. First came the big black engine, puffing and chuffing. Then came the box cars. Love trains. Grandpa loves trains. Oh, I love trains. Jason loves trains. You've seen trains. Then the oil cars came. Then the coal cars came. So that's coal. And that's the oil cars. And there's the animals. Then the flat cars, oops, the wind. Then the flat cars, sometimes they were switched around in different ways, but the little red caboose always came last. Keep going. Doing a good job listening, man. Doing a good job. Here we go. Boom. Boys and girls waved at the big black engine. They listened to the box cars and the oil cars and the coal cars and the flat cars go clickety clack clickety clack By the time the little red caboose came along, the boys and girls were turning away because the little red caboose always came last. Oh, smoke, said the little red caboose. I wish I were a flat car or a coal car or an oil car or a box car so boys and girls would wave at me how I wish I were a big black engine puffing and chuffing way up at the front of the train. But I'm just a little old red caboose. Nobody cares for me. Doing a good job. Doing a good job. Here we go. One day... The train started up a mountain. Up went the black engine. Up went the box cars. Up went the oil cars. Up went the coal, ca coal cars. Up went the flat cars. Up went the little red caboose. Doing a good job. Hang on tight, little caboose, called the flat car. This is a long, tall mountain. And you're the last car on the train. Don't I know it, sighed the little red caboose. Poor me. The train went slower and slower and S-L-O-W-E-R. Slower. Soon it was hardly moving. It looked as if that train could not get up the mountain. Look out, little caboose, called the flat car. The train is starting to slip back down this long, tall mountain. Not if I can help it, said the little red caboose. And he slammed on his brakes, and he held tight to the tracks, and he kept the train from sliding down the mountain. Whoa! Then bump! The little red caboose felt something push him from behind. It was two big black engines. They pushed the train up to the top of the mountain. Lots going on there. Lots going on. Here we go. We couldn't have done it, said the black engines, if it had not been for the little red caboose. Everyone cheered, and the little red caboose nearly burst with pride. Now, children wave at the big black engine and at all the cars. Isn't that cool, boys and girls? Last page, here we go. But they saved their biggest ways for the little red caboose. 
because the little red caboose saved the train. The end. Boys and girls, you did a great job listening. Jason White, I'm proud of you. I love you very much, you guys. Hey, come back next week. We got another story for you on Grandpa Story Hour. Again, mommy's, daddy's, auntie's, uncle's, grandma, grandpa's. Check out the description. Thanks for supporting us. Press, press, press the like button. Please press the like button. All right, guys. God bless. Love you. Until next time. Toodles.